Hello. Today I will go over the basics of how to get started with your InnoSight system. To begin imaging, the user must log in with a valid username and password. After login, select a transducer. If no transducer is connected, the system enters the system menu screen. The menu screen consists of eight tabs launching the different functionalities of the system. If a transducer is connected, the system enters the real-time 2D imaging screen default. Touch menu, patient to launch the patient data entry page. Touch new patient. Type the patient information, name, ID, etc. A last name and ID must be entered in order to start the exam. If auto create patient is on in the settings, the system auto-populates the patient information. Press Start Exam to start the exam for the current patient. The patient name and ID is displayed at the top of the imaging area. To select a tissue-specific preset, TSP, touch Menu, Preset. The TSPs available for the selected transducer will be displayed. To change to another transducer, touch the transducer icon, displayed at the top of the screen. The displayed presets will change to reflect the available presets for the active transducer. The selected TSP is displayed above the imaging area. To select a patient from a predefined modality worklist, touch menu, worklist. The system will query the worklist server. From the modality worklist screen, you can search, filter, or sort the list of patients from the worklist server. To select a scheduled patient, touch the patient information, then touch the start exam. To review the current exam data, touch menu, review. If there are no images and loops acquired, the system goes into the live imaging screen. Touch acquire on a frozen image to acquire a still frame image. Touch acquire during live imaging to capture a loop. Touch menu. Review to assess current exam data. Touch menu. Exam list to view data from previous exams. The exam list allows the user to review previous exam data, import export exam data, and complete a paused exam. Drag your finger vertically to scroll through the list of patients. To sort the list, touch the header of each column. The list can be sorted based on patient name, ID, type of exam, date, number of images saved, and status in ascending or descending order. When a patient is selected, the thumbnail of acquired images and loops are displayed at the bottom of the screen. To customize the InnoSight system to streamline your workflow and increase efficiency, use the controls under System Settings. To access System Setting Controls, touch Menu, Settings. Under System Settings, there is a general tab where you can find controls for Docking Control Panel, Freeze Gesture, Language, Bluetooth, Casting the Screen, and Customizing the Date and Time. Preset tab under System Settings allows you to edit the default preset and the preset list and import or export TSPs. The Patient tab offers settings to Enable creating a set of patient name and ID automatically, settings to show or hide study information, and controls to set the measurement unit for analysis. The Exam tab under System Settings offers controls for adding Institute logo, editing Institute name, operator name, and to set the period after which exams are deleted automatically. The Workflow tab offers controls to change the default screen. Set the auto freeze timing and assign the default action after freeze. The Imaging tab provides controls to customize features related to imaging. The Annotation tab provides controls to change the font and arrow size and to edit the label list. The Body Mark tab provides controls to customize the Body Mark workflow. The Measurement tab provides controls to define new measurements and calculations to set the units of measurements and other measurement-related settings. The Report tab provides controls to edit the default report template. 
to create a user-defined template and access to other reporting-related settings. The DICOM tab provides controls to customize the DICOM-related settings. The Networking tab provides controls to configure networking-related settings. Example, connecting to Wi-Fi network and configuring it. The Print tab provides controls to add a printer or to configure printers. The Service tab provides controls for system maintenance-related settings. To view the report status of the current patient, touch Menu, Report. The report and images from the current exam can be printed from the report screen. Touch Menu, Security to go to the login screen. Thank you for watching this video on how to get started with your InnoSight system.